so here i will explain the next part of the chapter light first how the image formation takes place here o is the object and here i can see the image of the object o so how the image formation takes place in a plane mirror so this is a plane mirror first we use two rays one ray oa fall on the mirror this is the incident ray and ab is the reflected ray and the second ray oc fall on the mirror and cd is the reflected ray and this ray are following the law of reflection that means the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and the incident ray reflected ray and the normal all are on the same plane now if we extend this reflected ray on the back side of the mirror we observe that both the ray will meet at the point i and this i is nothing but the image of the object o and if we measure the distance of the object from the mirror this distance is equal to the distance of the image from the mirror that means the object distance is equal to the image distance so this is how the image formation takes place in a plane mirror next kinds of reflection there are two kinds of reflection regular reflection and irregular reflection so next what is regular reflection so when the parallel rays of light fall on a smooth surface the reflected rays are also parallel here you can see the incident ray is parallel and the reflected ray is also parallel and this type of reflection generally takes place through mirror and any smooth surfaces the next is the diffused reflection so when the parallel ray of light fall on any irregular surface or rough surface you can see the ray fall on this rough irregular surface and the reflected ray goes to different directions and this type of reflection generally takes place from rough surfaces like the pages of book the walls or any rough surfaces okay next is reflected light can be reflected again okay and this takes place generally in case of the periscope here two mirrors are fixed one at this corner and other at the this corner and here if we look at the image through this point we can see the image of the object first the light from the tree fall on this mirror this light get reflected and it will fall on this mirror and the reflected light when fall on our eyes you can see the image of the tree so here reflected light get again reflected next this multiple images is it possible to get the multiple image of a single object yes it is possible so this is how we can get a multiple image for this we require two mirrors this is one mirror and this is the other mirror the mirror are placed in such a way that we get three images of this object now how three images are possible okay because of this the number of image form on a mirror depend on this formula that means it is 360 degree divided by angle between the mirror minus 1 so if the angle between two mirror is 90 degree the number of images form will be 30 so here you can see three images are formed because the angle between the two mirror is 90 degree okay and same thing is applicable in case of kaleidoscope so here instead of two here three mirrors are fixed one two and three mirrors are fixed at the angle 60 degree near the angles are 60 degree and these are the object when we look through this side we can see the image of the object in this pattern okay multiple images are formed of this object so thank you